Hi, Mina san. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Abby Kareen, your friendly neighborhood nerd, and we are back with my hero, Academia. This is episode 16 called The Hellish Todoroki Family Part 2. Not looking forward to this. <laughs> I'm really not because like I mean I am because it's important to talk about like the trauma of the past but like I'm just sad for the Todoroki family that's really what it is like I'm sad for them all because they're just there's just there's no there's no break for them there's no break for the children like Endeavor I understand he has to like pretty much you know he made this bed so now he has to lay in it but like the kids you know it's not fair to them to have to like deal with this repercussion and the just the fact that Toya is just back in the mix everyone's emotional so it, it just it's gonna be it's gonna be something so we'll see how that works um we'll see if if Izuku wakes up I know that's a thing he's in he's like in a coma of some sort yeah, I think we're just going to jump in and just see what happens. So <laughs> if you'd like to check out the full reaction to this episode, you can find it on my Patreon. And don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe and follow me on my social media. Let's do it. <laughs> Little baby. <laughs> that's Maybe that's why I'm just like, I want Shigaraki to be saved. Because this little kid version is just so sweet. I just want to pinch his cheeks and hug him. Oh, are we going to be getting Hawk's backstory? Because was that little kid? Was that little, little baby Hawk? Yeah, it's a little baby Hawk. Yes, look at this. I miss those thighs. I miss everything about him. And I miss his laugh. Y'all know All my is <laughs> everything to me. Oh. Elephant, not this elephant. No, what happened? What happened? <laughs> oh, he's big. Shit. <laughs> not him getting. Not him being treated this way. I thought he was literally just an orphan. He just came from an abusive home. This is your dad. Don't be like that. What is going on here? They have trash everywhere. This neglect. Okay. Oh, so he, oh man. Does this fucker die? I just can't, I can't handle, I can't handle these. What? Oh my gosh! Or maybe I just want to hug him. What is her ability, these eyes? Good. Maybe that's his endeavor is here because he caught that nasty fucker. Oh, this poor boy. What is going on with these eyes? What is her ability? What's her quirk? Okay, for some reason I thought they found him as an orphan. Like, I, this is this is really hard. Again, there's like no it's no black and white because like I'm happy that he was taken away from his mom because his mom was abusive <laughs> and neglectful like so I don't know I'm happy he's not with her just the fact that homeboy has his own Batmobile oh oh we got someone Oh, well, I mean, hey, if we're getting some food, if we're getting food, you are no Glenn God. That is reserved for my boy, Fat Gum, only. Don't you dare call yourself some glutton God. You ain't even a glutton man. No, thank you. Oh, his, I love his car. Pops. 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 
I love him. Come on. He's fab. Mm. Yeah. Damn. What does he have? Does he have something? Is that a weapon? All oh, these people who are just not even... They're not for it. Hmm. Is that how he learned her learned his name? Did his mom? Yeah, seriously, they're resourceful. Or there must be some leaks. Yeah. Gosh, see Jin changed him for for the better. Uh, sorry, I'm just. <laughs> there's a lot of emotion in this. Like, this is very uh, somber, very sad. Mm-hmm. Everyone is constantly changing. So are you? Tiny hawk, hawk boy. <laughs> so are we gonna get them now? Because this is called the Todoroki. Yeah, let's not even think about muscular. I don't even want to think about him. Cider house. He's so cute though. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this fun soda man? <laughs> oh yeah, wait. That's um. Yeah, we yeah, wash. Mm. Yeah. Jeez. Oh gosh, this is this is very hopeless. It feels hopeless, doesn't it? Jeez. Number nine hero. Oh, number nine. Oh, damn. Our, um, there must be so many just like. Oh. oh, damn. Oh, okay. That was from that one guy who was just like, I give up. I remember he had that hat on. Mm. That's a good question. Is that stain? Sorry, I'm just saying. <laughs> Every time I see him, I just start freaking out. <laughs> Is stain going to become a hero? I'm just saying, I'm curious. Okay. Are we back at the hospital with all this? Yeah, this crowd. Oh my gosh, Endeavor. I give him a hug. Thank you. Thank you for rooting for him. I'm gonna root for him too. Let's all root for Endeavor. Let's, let's hope he gets better. Hmm. Hmm. Endeavor. Gosh. <laughs> he, just love, he has such a long neck. <laughs> He's so handsome. Mm, I mean, that's that's just what happens. Your past does catch up to you, but it doesn't mean that you can't change. It doesn't mean that you still can't do better. No. Will you just be the man? And you know what? Leave it, leave it. I'm 
not supposed to laugh right now. I'm sorry, but this is so much funny. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Gosh. Oh, is that her? Is that Ray? Oh, oh, she's so beautiful. She's amazing. Mm. I mean, they have a lot to talk about. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Toya. We do. We need it. Yeah. Let's talk about him. Let's do so. Oh, is it over? Oh, oh man. That went by so quickly. Well, that was, um, you know, this is an episode. It's It kind of is sad because it's just like, there's a lot of emotions happening right now. Um, one just with like, heroes quitting and just people losing hope and i mean this is it's what they wanted this is what the villains wanted so you know the establishment and the idea of heroes has crumbled so now it's just like kind of rebuilding potentially the image of heroes and what it really means to be a hero um interesting while that kind of conversation was going on we saw stain so again i'm curious what's going to happen with Stain. Again, I know he's not like a straight up hero or anything, but I'm curious how it's going to go with him versus, you know, the ideology of what Shigaraki and what All for One stands for because he's not in that category. He doesn't want complete destruction. He just wanted to call out, you know, the fake heroes. So now that all the fake heroes are kind of leaving, in his opinion, fake heroes, um, I'm curious what what that will mean for Stain. Again, I'm just excited to see. I'm so excited to see him. It's so cool. You know, also with um, Kego, it's very interesting because, like, his past is super sad. Like, just everything with his mom and dad. Forget his family. Fuck them. I'm sorry. I gotta say it. Like, I don't know if his mom... His mom didn't seem mentally stable. So it's just, like it's un unfortunate circumstances that she would like be attached to his dad and then you know he obviously came along afterwards and it's frustrating for kids to be put in these situations where they have no control yet they have to like just ah uh, just go along with sometimes with the parents just like you know the parents neglect them and it's just I don't know it's just very frustrating and it's just like so there I see where all these poor kids, like, who are abandoned, ne neglected, abused, why they become who they are in the future, which is very much exactly what happens in real life, too. Yes, we don't have quirks, but it's just like, this is a big thing when no one, you know, reaches out and helps, you know, kids. Um, so part of me is just like, yay for the government taking him. But at the same time, it's just like, you know, they, they train him to be a soldier, essentially, for them. But, I mean... I feel like it's also a better life than what he would have had with his mom. I don't know. I don't know. That one's tricky. That one's hard. Um, but clearly we're going to get some more stuff with him as as we go on. Um, also, I'm sure we're going to get some more with the Todoroki family. I did I, I did catch a snippet of the preview and it just seems like it's going to be like an origin story for maybe Toya, which would be great. This is exactly what we wanted. Like, for us who have not read the manga, like we want some information about him. So this will be exciting, probably sad, but it will be also really cool to just finally get some more information about him and the backstory, maybe even what happened to him in that moment with that fire. Uh, yeah. And you know, there's there, there has to be a lot of uh, conversation between the whole Todoroki family. So I'm happy they're all there, you know, minus Toya, but like, I think this is gonna be good for them to finally all talk because that's how you heal. That's how you move forward is you have to have conversation. You have to get it all out. You have to cry. You have to be angry. You may not even forgive in that moment, but like you have to like start with conversation. So it'll be really cool to see the Todoroki family, you know, chatting, chatting in the next one. So, um, but I think that's gonna be it. I just want to give like a lot of people a hug. <laughs> so many people hugs. <laughs> and you know, all these people who are just, this world is just so tricky now. This world is so tricky because of how people are treating heroes. How heroes are also just keeping up. Except for Best Genius. Love that man. Go number three. He should be number one now, right? Because Endeavor is kind of out of commission. 
Hawks is. No, Hawks wasn't number two, though. Was it? Wait, was Hawks number two? Yeah. Endeavor, Hawks. That's genus. And Edge. <laughs> I forgot the ranking. But yeah, we'll wait and see what happens uh, next week. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next reaction.